Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Hawkeye Stories. I'm Nick Dorman. If you talk to just about any college athlete's parents, they will probably tell you their kid has grown up playing sports as long as they can remember. In Katherine Reynolds' case, not only has she grown up playing sports, she's grown up around professional baseball her entire life. This is the story of separate journeys tied together by a major league bond between father and daughter. Traveling and being on the go has been a normal part of Terry Reynolds' life. From Albuquerque to Daytona Beach to Vero Beach to Los Angeles and most recently to Cincinnati where he is the Senior Director of Global and International Scouting. Our guys cover all the big leagues and all the minor league teams and also global non-Latin scouting and that's primarily Australia, Europe uh, and the Netherlands Antilles is, is uh, where we get most of our guys from. What was awesome about that was A, sometimes I got to go with him and B, he always made time to try to get home for whether it was my games or my brother's games and uh, it always meant the world when he could do that. Some notable athletes Reynolds has been responsible for finding. The 1996 Rookie of the Year, Dodgers outfielder Todd Hollinsworth, potential Hall of Famer Paul Canerco, and more recently, Reds pitcher Homer Bailey and all-star outfielder Jay Bruce. Catherine admits meeting some athletes over the years has been quite the breathtaking experience. You know, back in the Dodger days when we'd go watch games, I know I, I met Sammy Sosa one time when they were playing the Cubs in spring training, Joey Votto, Jay Bruce. Um, the hardest part for me is just catching my breath. Some of those guys are uh, pretty easy on the eyes. When Jay Bruce came up to introduce himself to her in Arizona, I thought we probably were going to need one of those machines to resuscitate the poor kid. Even though she's the daughter of a Major League Baseball scout and the sister of a minor league catcher, her dad is the first to admit that being a softball player just wasn't in the cards for Catherine. If you had seen her try to catch in softball, her brother was a catcher growing up, so she decided she would be a catcher. And about every third pitch, the mask would be on the wrong side of her face. The ball would be at the backstop. She'd be screaming at somebody. Um, one season of softball was plenty. Her father has had quite the journey as a scout. Catherine has also had quite the journey as a Hawkeye. After suffering two ACL tears in high school, she suffered another one prior to her sophomore season at Iowa. She's undergone three knee surgeries since arriving in Iowa City, and a quick call to her parents gave her all their perspective she needed during the tough times. Uh, when I got injured, uh, my parents was pretty much the first phone call I made, and the way my dad kind of, the advice he gave was, Kind of by showing, look, there's tons of people out there that are going through things like this, but what can set you apart is the way you handle it and the way you come back from it. So his perspective on it um, really kind of got me focused and made me realize that you can just come back better from it and uh, really take away anything that you can. Whether it be in sports or in life, you're going to have good days and bad days. And the people that are successful are the ones that overcome them and overcome them quickly. So, you know, there's not much you can do about it once it happens. You've get up, you get back on the horse, you rehab it, and hope for the best. There's been plenty of good times on her journey as well for Reynolds, particularly in the classroom. She's been named Academic All Big Ten twice, was a 2014 Big Ten Distinguished Scholar, and perhaps the most impressive part of Catherine's career, graduating college in three years. Oh, and moving on to law school at Iowa, all while finishing up her final year on the basketball team. Once I realized I was going to graduate early, I wanted to keep playing and needed to look for a graduate or professional school program. Law school just kept coming back to the top of the list as a, something that would be interesting, broad enough that it would open a lot of doors down the road. And it kind of all just fell together. And uh, now we're just kind of taking it day by day, try to try not to uh, get any eaten up by it. She got ahead of the curve with the classes. and. Uh, to her credit, she was able to get it done in three years as a college athlete, and that's not easy. And we'll see how it goes with law school. That's a, that's a whole new kettle of fish that she'll have to tackle next year with playing. Catherine and her dad's past don't cross as often since being at Iowa. Her parents get to as many games as they can, and an occasional scouting trip for Terry in the Midwest, like this last spring, also allows the Reynolds duo to catch up. Uh, we enjoy the same things when it comes to sports and talking about that and what's going on and, you know, some of the pop culture type stuff. And although I'm 100 and she's 20, um, you know, we do hit the same page on some things. And uh, we enjoy each other's company. And now that the kid's 21, it makes it even better. So. And I love to just watch him work um, because I think that's kind of where my best example has ever come from. He's extremely hardworking and it's fun to see how there can be a career where you're working that hard, but at the same time, 
you're doing something you love. It's involved sports, and at the end of the day, he uh, loves what he's doing. So that's always been really refreshing and cool to see for me. Sports has been an important part of both Catherine and her dad's lives, and it is evident the major league bond that it's given the both of them. As we said, Catherine is now in law school at Iowa. She said she's not exactly sure what route she will go with that law degree just yet. While the softball thing didn't work out when she was younger, she has not ruled out the possibility of following in her dad's footsteps and entering the Major League Baseball world in some capacity. You can catch Catherine in the nationally ranked women's basketball team this Friday and Saturday evenings at 7.30 in Carver Hawkeye Arena as Iowa hosts the Hawkeye Challenge. If you cannot be there, you can follow all the action on HawkeyeSports.com. I'm Nick Dorman, and thanks again for watching Hawkeye Stories. Thank you.